it's fine. You can go. You don't have to come here and be feeling sorry. Oh, oh no, it's fine. It is what it is. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becker with the mismatching earrings. Yes, and my cornrows because your girl cannot even be bothered. See, tonight I wasn't going to even post any video at all about the Big Brother Niger highlight because I feel like, oh my god, this show is becoming really boring. Like, can we get to the reunion already and all of that? But some things happened tonight. I'm like, you know what? Let me just come here and shalaye. So that is why I'm here, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> Alright, on today's episode of the Big Brother Niger highlights, guys, there were already two evictions. Lilo and what's this other housemate now? I can't remember. But two people left the house. So we had 18 housemates left in Biggie's house. And yes, I'm standing because I'm here to Shalaye, like I said. Okay? Guys, you know that in the first week the housemates lost their wager. Second week, the housemates lost their wager. Now for this third week here, there was a change. There was a shift in paradigm. Hell better preach on, preach on. Guys, us all won the head of house task. And you guys know that from that moment on board, things changed in the house. The way they went about their duties, the fact that everything they laid their hands upon started to prosper just made us realize that Ozo is actually a born king I don't know why better is jumping up and down but yeah as soon as Ozo got into power a lot of things changed because guys they won the Hawaja for the very first time okay I think I'm even faster than my shadow let's talk about that particular day Ozo won the head of house challenge you guys of course you know that he chose Dorothy as his deputy and when Biggie asked Dorothy if she was going to accept the whole thing she was like with her full chest you know she accepted being deputy with her very full chest okay my chest is not so full so let's let's hide it okay anyways guys after all that choosing of deputy and everything also now started giving me headache i swear that day i felt like giving the guy a knock fine you don't choose dorothy as your deputy why do you think it is okay to go and start shalaya into nengi like <laughs> brother move on okay when he went to Nengi, Nengi was like, see, I'm not even angry that you did not choose me. That's not why I'm angry. Me, I'm just angry that I did not win because I'm not here to put my fate, you know, in anybody's hands. So it's fine. You don't have to feel bad. You don't have to explain anything to me and all of that. Then the guy now left again when he got into the head of house lounge with Dorothy. That's how they now sat down there again and started talking about Nengi. Dorothy was like, look, you're my friend and I'm just looking out for you. You place this girl on a very high pedestal, but she doesn't see you the same way. So I'm your friend and I need to tell you because I don't want anybody to hurt you and all of that stuff and also it's like well yeah you know I spoke with her mm, you know sometimes they talk you know, even they hear what they talk but then Dorothy kept on wondering why Nengi was now ignoring Ozo and now falling back on Prince you know maybe because she wasn't getting enough attention from Ozo now she's now leaning towards Prince and all of that you already know how Ozo feels about you now you're not reciprocating the whole feelings and all of that and you still want him to keep treating you the same way but that's actually something I don't even want to indulge myself in because already we know as the thing take start and we know as the thing take end okay now it was still on this day 15 that king royal showed us that he had a prophetic calling see the guy just never answered the call but the call they did now you ask me say better what no don't call me better big sister what it be the calling the calling be say two major statements where kid royal make on that day 15 everything happened the first one was when biggie was asking them who do you think was going to win the head of house and all of that and kid royal categorically mentioned also who won it also did now again when kid royal was having a conversation with nengi at the dining area you know he was like look you're going to be among the top three did that happen or not? It happened. So the only thing that remained for Kido and Nana to open church. Once you open church, Pere, Nami go be the head usher. Nami go tell you, say, go sit down there. Mm -mm. The future does not lie there. It lies on this end. <laughs> Anyways guys, moving to day 16, it was time for them to go into the arena to rehearse for their task and all of that. And as soon as it was time for them to leave for the arena, Kaisha was still on her bed, yawning and stretching. Now so everybody enter arena, big brother locked up because Kaisha no come outside early. Then the girl just turned herself to ask girl once. Just they wash plates, they clean, they sweep, they do everything in the hopes that Big Brother will not punish her. But while the girl was still cleaning, our very own savage Big Brother said, Kaisha, you have been fined, okay? Because as your mate, they go outside, you feel say it's okay. 
So the inside, the yawn, the, the stretch neck. So we will stretch your wallet, come out the money where they inside. Anyways, after the housemates got back from their rehearsals and all of that, they got a brief from Biggie and it was a task courtesy of flutter wave and you guys remember the housemates were split into different groups and the group that won actually got themselves extra bb naira biggie told them that they could use it to shop for exclusive things it was erica's group that won erica kidwire tricky t t badge i don't know the last person but you know there was one more person on that group you know so yeah that was that for the flutter wave task now in between the flutter wave task there was a time when they had to rest and all of that lecon now decided that it would be okay to have a conversation about erica with kaisha you know now they were seated on the bed in the garden and kaisha is like have you told her how you feel about her? Like, did you really make your intentions known to the girl? Because you cannot be feeling bad that she's talking to somebody else. And then Lekon was like, I already told her I like her. Kesha now said, eh uh -huh. If you tell her say you like her, Muko, you know, say another person to figure me and say, oh, I like you. It's very easy for like five people to tell one person that they like them. That doesn't really make a difference. What makes the difference is you telling her exactly what you want. Lekon was like, eh, I've told her and she was like, eh, she's more interested in her career and money that she's not here to find love. Yes, it's true that Erica mentioned that she's more concerned about her career and her money because at this point, love not even with the worry. Um, you know, she mentioned that. But when Leko Hotel Kasha that said, Kasha that said, eh, hey, the girl has already made the intentions known to you as well. So maybe she's just playing a game. Maybe she's just trying to catch cruise with the two of you on the internet. Okay? And if you said no, say so you feel play the game, then look for another female housemate and pay pay her. She has already pointed out to you that she doesn't want to. That means she's basically using the two of you to catch cruise for the internet. You can also play the game with her. Look for another partner. See, I know a lot of people have been raving mad on Twitter because of that thing Kaisha said. But guess what? That was the most honest conversation anybody would have had with Kaisha. Kaisha hit the nail on the head. She said it exactly the way it was. Okay, you've told this girl that you like her. Did you make your intentions known? If you didn't, then just go with the flow. Simple and short. I don't see Kaisha get weary for it. But this particular advice, this particular thing where she talk, it makes sense. Case closed. See, the thing is, Lekon went from one housemate to the other, reporting the same thing, seeking advice from all of them. But the question is, did he really take the advice? All it is when they tell her, it take calm. Let's be honest, okay? I'm not saying, when I go on the fight, now they shake neck. Some of you don't already type. Now why I stand? Because I'm standing on the truth. That's even when I want to talk, are they ready for now? Because if you bring bass, I give you both. This night, no peace for the weekend, okay? Anyways, later that same evening, Big Brother sent in Ozzo's birthday cake because yes, it was Ozzo's birthday. I mean, him winning the head of the house was the best birthday gift ever. You know, he had immunity. There was no fear of, oh, am I going to offer for eviction and all of that stuff. You know, the housemates took turns to say very nice things about Ozzo. You know, Kaisha said he's very calm and sweet. Explain sweet, please. Es explain it on me. Have you tested him? Did you, did, you, did you lick it? Better shut up your mouth. Now, this same evening, Erica and Lekon had a conversation. You know, Lekon decided to be bold enough to ask her. I mean, she must have dropped hints here and there, but he had the balls. That balls, big. He asked her, say, Alpha, how do you feel about me? Like, are you attracted to me? Because the girl doctor says, see, I don't think I can find love on a reality show. I mean, that's not why I'm here. I'm more focused on my career and just how to make money. Then if love comes, then okay. But that's not the primary reason why I'm here. And then Lekon was like, yeah, fine. I get it. So how do you feel about me? Are you attracted to me? And she said it point blank that for her and Lekon, it is more of a mental attraction. But when it comes to physical appearance and all of that, she is more attracted to Kid Wire. Simple English. Now, now they are gonna leave her because it's not really easy. As I think they run my mouth sound like tap. Now be so it's easy for the house. 
Emotions were involved, I understand that. And you know, in Biggie's house, these things are heightened because you have just a good number of people to talk to. You know, let's say your feed your call, your friends, how far Jerry Mo go drink more high. Uh -uh. You will still see the same person around. So it's not really easy for us to now say, oh yeah, this person was wrong or this person was right. You know, the girl made her point, Lacon made his point, but the whole situation was mismanaged. Now, what we should be hoping for is for them to find a way to make it work. I'm not saying make up and become best of friends. I'm just saying make up and resolve whatever underlying issues you people are having and move on. That's what we want, okay? So if that's something you want as well, then let me know in the comment section by saying I second that thought. Okay? Just let me know because we need to second this thing so that it go reach their ear. We can't say the year. That they yells. Now before I end this video, let me just explain to you why I have so much ginger. Now V. Now, if you give me ginger in this slide, see if you like, cover yourself with the blanket. I know you can hear me. I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to address this issue. I said you are behaving like a mad person. I don't even remember that fight. It was a very sweet fight. Fight will be saying, V Joe, they behave like market woman, they shout, all your breasts, they shake. She just they tell what told you see, you are behaving like a freaking mad person. Because it's only mad people that will behave the way you are behaving. Seriously? Yes. Yes. Because these things that mad people do. Do not cover yourself. Me, I will keep, I will keep reacting. <laughs> I say sleep on this bed because I want you to have your own space. You guys remember that bed fight? That Watoni was just complaining. See, I feel like throughout the game, Watoni was just involved in one gossip or another. And for me, it was just like, what's your use here, please? Like, what till you they add for this show now? Because I never really see any impact. If you reach game and all those things, I know they hear in voice. But when I gossip, you know, quiet gossip, we'll be like ants. All those bees, where they make noise for here. Mosquito. Now there you go see Watoni. But that very night, V get Watoni time. She follow Watoni drag matter. Say if you like, cover yourself with duvet. I will keep addressing this thing because I know you are hearing me. I say, oh, okay, this is the energy I need for the night. So now this same energy, I take on film this video. And now the same energy, I want to edit and want to post that for now. So now go use that same energy. Subscribe. If you never subscribe, you go still use that same energy. Go better corner my other channel subscribe show me love for dear watch all my videos for dear okay then you go come use that same energy do what you want to do today because today is a good day thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up like i said subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on the next one i don't know if i'm going to bring a video tomorrow because if nothing happened i'll not bring any video but if something happened like this one will happen today then you go see me for an ask you i go just